Hey there, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to compare Notion and Todoist. The first thing I'm going to talk about are the main advantages and disadvantages of both of these tools. Then I'll talk about what I like and don't like about main features and pricing. Both of these tools are really great, but they are completely different comparing to each other. I'm not paid by any of these programs to so say that like this one is better comparing to this one. I'm just going to give you my honest review. Todoist, if I should define Todoist, I would define it as a simplicity, right? And I would define Notion as a complex. The first advantage both of these tools have that you can have actually dark theme. I'm someone who is planning always days, weeks in advance, in the evenings, and I like to have it as a dark theme. So that's like, um, I will show you how it looks without a dark theme, dark mode. Look at this. Mamma mia, you know, it's going to, you're going to suffer with your eyes. <laughs> and now, Todoist. If I should give you the, the quick walkthrough, it's going to be so damn easy. First, you're going to see today tasks that you need to do. Then you're going to see projects here that you can actually create. And you can have options between lists and Kanban boards. Really simple. You just simply add a task in the section that you created right here like YouTube. Simple click here. You can schedule it or add a reminder. You can set the priority labels and add the subtasks. Then you're going to see labels and filters here that you can add priorities and labels, but you need to premium account for that. And this is like it. I should, I would use Todoist with like two people, three people maximum. I wouldn't use it for with more people, like five, then I would choose ClickUp, Monday.com, Rike, Smartsheet, those tools as a project management for productivity tool. Todoist as a simple program is top notch. But on the other hand, Notion, that's like, completely kind of breed if you're someone who likes to play around with stuff if you like if you are someone who is like programmer and you want to have like multiple combined projects and simply add a view by tables by boards calendar lists galleries that you can create you can simply go here and let me show you until it loads I don't know why it's not loading. Yes, for commands, you can simply edit whatever you want from table, from databases. I really recommend going with August Bradley or others who are creating really good tutorials how to use databases and they are completely on another level. I'm the type of guy who is using Todoist. I like to be effective and quick. I don't really like complexity. I don't know how to work with complexity. So that's why you're not, never going to see this type of things i don't like to play around with stuff i'm not type of guy i just want to get things quick done and effective as soon as possible but if you're like this guy like august bradley and others who like to have these complex structures in notion definitely watch their videos now to go even further you can definitely create new pages here in pages you can create tasks that you want to create and finish and that's pretty much it. I don't know what else should I tell you because you're going to see templates here that you can use and use that. You can use also formulas here. You can create, let me show you if I would go with the table. You can simply click plus here, check boxes, multi selects, formulas, relation created by like so damn complex. And complexity is something that you maybe like. Complexity is something that you prefer. And that's okay. That's why I can't say that this one is better or this one is worse. One is just more simple and one is more complex. That's how would I say it. So comparing the pricing, both of these tools have free plans. So you can actually use them and you don't have to pay anything. What I would recommend is that if you want to go deep, I would go with a personal pro in Notion. Mm, only because you got like unlimited guests, unlimited file uploads, epi access coming soon. It, yeah, come, it's coming soon for a year already, <laughs> but it's for another video. And also uh, what I would do if I would have it with a team, I wouldn't use Notion. You need to be all complex to use Notion. But if you have someone like me in your team, I would. I don't know what I would do, but I wouldn't use Notion for multiple people. So. 
two free people what sim for simple task i would go with a to do list but also for notion if i would use it with multiple people they will be tough for me because i don't know how to i would it would take me a really long time to learn how to use notion so that's pretty much it thank you very much everybody for watching uh, if you have any questions guys ask me down in the comments and have a great day and goodbye see ya